Welcome everyone to uh, East Hartford and the 1st Congressional District and uh, kudos to uh, Joe Courtney who uh, has such enormous respect in the United States uh, Congress and I dare say uh, throughout the country and around the globe and when you look at his record and his travels just in the last six months including going to Australia but also going throughout the uh, country uh, and underscoring uh, the great need for sea power. And especially in this day and age, and I don't have to tell any of you uh, in terms of what's transpiring in, uh, in Israel, uh, what's uh, the concern about Taiwan, and uh, what's uh, going on in Europe as well. Uh, we're in a uh, strategic race, <clears throat> not unlike in many respects the, uh, uh, the Cold War battle with Russia in terms of uh, nuclear uh, power. And uh, thankfully, and in large part because of the efforts of Joe Courtney, uh, even though China has surpassed us in terms of the size of their fleet and remains incredibly focused, uh, we still maintain that competitive edge and beyond with submarines. The whole Congress now has been enlightened by Joe, and uh, again, he's always far too modest. Many people have tried, senators and congressmen, to get two subs built. And uh, it's why he's earned the moniker Two Sub Joe. Uh, <laughs> our colleagues kid him and saying, uh, do we really need subs in the Great Lakes? But uh, the, uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, this gives us such a incredible competitive advantage. But there are obvious problems. Uh, and amongst them is the workforce shortage. So, uh, I commend the Navy, and I think uh, Project Providence is a, is a great idea, et cetera. But most of all, uh, if you could witness Joe Courtney work the floor of the House, uh, and it's a pretty hard thing to do to get above the president's request of your own party, but this is the enormous respect uh, that Joe Courtney has developed, and he makes the case for why we need this to maintain our superiority in sea power. Uh, China is not going away. You might want to try to wish it away or whatever, but they are not. And they're, they're determined to surpass the United States, as was Russia during the Cold War, et cetera. America responded at that time we're fortunate that we have a champion in Joe Courtney who's uh, leading the effort. Uh, and you can tell with the great respect, I think they're gonna make him an honorary citizen of Australia, but uh, <laughs> I'm not quite clear. But again, uh, this Pacific has uh, special concerns too that as a nation we have to make sure that we approach. So uh, I'm as excited as Joe is to uh, listen to all of you and uh, what we have in store. This is great news for our manufacturing base and for people looking for work, et cetera. And uh, again, testimony to all the players, not the least of whom is Electric Boat, but, uh, and also the United States Navy for uh, recognizing what needs to be done. And I'd be remiss if I didn't also mention Ron Angelo and Seacat. And uh, uh, Joe, again, that was because of a guy named Jack Murtha who uh, came here many years ago and said, you know what's needed here for the future is to take a look at advancing technology and developing this so that you can have a partner with government. And uh, I <clears throat> often think of our, our former colleague <laughs> who loved this guy, but guess what? Even with all of, all of Jack Murtha's blessings, if you don't get out there and work that bill on the floor, especially defense bills, which you always manage to attract a great deal of uh, a contentious rivalry and a back and forth uh, with the various 
entities that occupy uh, Congress, but it's because of his record, because of his integrity, because of the work he does on a daily basis that these programs not only get funded, but exceed expectation, all because of Joe Court.